So in question number six, what should be added uh, to the polynomial so that three is the zeros of the polynomial? So when we say zero, that means this is the value of x. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. So can I say? So we will write over here as p is the zero of polynomial that means px therefore i can say x is the value of 3 therefore x minus 3 is the factor factor yes or no yes sir. so there are two methods one is i can just uh, divide normally to find out the remainder or i can use the remainder theorem Okay, so I'm going to use remainder theorem using remainder theorem. So, so our polynomial is x square minus 5x plus 4. So our polynomial is x square minus 4x, sorry, 5, x square minus 5x plus 4. The remainder theorem is when I put 3, so P3 equals to what? So 3 square minus 5 multiplied by 3 plus 4. This thing we studied in class 9 also. 9 minus 15 plus 4. So 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 minus 15 is negative 2. So negative 2 is my remainder. Understood? This is yes, my okay. remainder. So, what the question is, what, what should, be, should added? be added? Now you tell me, what should be added? Plus two. Plus two. Are you sure? Yes. Sir, so there are three, there are two kind of question. What should be added? What should be subtracted? So, if I have 5 divided by 2, okay, so 2 divided by uh, 4 and 1. So, there are two kind of question. We can say 1 should be subtracted. 5 minus 1 will give me 4 and 4 is divisible by 2. Yes or no? Yes. That's so, true. basically, we can say remainder should be subtracted. Whereas another way can be negative one should be added. So the so five plus minus one again four. Therefore negative r should be negative r should be added. Added. Remember, we did these kind of questions in grade 9 also. Yes. Sir. Therefore, negative of negative 2, which is 2, 2 should be added. So now, is this thing clear? Yes. Yeah. So in question number 8, uh, what should be subtracted from the polynomial this so that x value is 15 is a zero of the polynomial. Can you see it's similar to this question? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Little bit language is different, but whenever they are asking what should be added, what should be subtracted, idea behind this is use remainder theorem, find out the remainder, and if it is subtracted, just subtract the remainder. If it is added, uh, additive inverse of the remainder should be added. Additive inverse. Okay. So I'm not going to do a question number eight. You can do it on your own. Fine. Right? 